So this is a quick summary of a SymPy based library that I developed for modeling a poultry based meat supply chain from beginning to end. Conceptually, I, I gave an overview here uh, showing that it comprises the egg supplier, the hatchery, which contains a hatching process and a brooding process, the coops or the farming itself, um, so raising the Thompson hens and the separation of Thompson hens, um, and also the uh, forwarding of, uh, of flocks to the slaughterhouse and the therewith associated sanitation of coops to make them ready for the next um, flock. Uh, here there are also defined growth rates, feed rates and uh, mortality rates um, that are included by the library and, and can be used for modeling the farming process or the, gro the growth of the, the flocks. The slaughterhouse itself um, produces onto stock and has a defined production capacity and eventually we have the meat processing process which is um, basically the consumption of the carcasses from the slaughterhouse inventory. So the carcasses, the carcasses that have been produced on stock are eventually consumed by meat processing, which is the final process in the supply chain. And the meat processing plants would then downstream sell to distribution facilities, markets, and so on. Here is a more detailed description of the supply chain and the various entities and processes involved. And uh, you can have a, a read here if you, if you want to uh, understand this in greater detail. But so, for example, one thing you can see, and which I should point out here, there is a defined S as inventory policy, small, small as big as inventory policy with regards to the X um, at the hatchery. So based on this policy, the hatchery will purchase X from the X supplier. And this process um, is associated with a shipping lead time. So there's a, a feedback delay, so to say, in this supply chain between the X supplier and the hatchery. Then there are also defined rules for how chicks are assigned to coops, um, how flocks are separated, and how flocks can be forwarded to the slaughterhouse. There are also defined rules for um, sanitation. So the coop um, has to be emptied fully um, before the next flock can enter um, the coop. And in between, there has to be a sanitation step. So there has to be um, a cleaning process, which is associated with costs. And then with regards to the slaughterhouse, the slaughterhouse, as I said, produces carcass onto stock. For that, it needs to take a flock from a, from a farm coop. And it has a defined production capacity. The meat processing plants, they consume their demand from the from the carcass stock. And if the carcass stock uh, in the given iteration of the simulation is not sufficient to, spe uh, to satisfy the randomly distributed or randomly generated um, meat processing demand, then there will be a backlog order uh, for the slaughterhouse. And this, in this case, will result in the slaughterhouse purchasing the respective amount of uh, chicks from uh, or the, the respective amount of poultry from uh, external suppliers. So there's also this aspect of backlog and this aspect of purchasing poultry from external suppliers. In terms of KPIs, there are various KPIs that are supported by this framework or by this library. And additional KPIs can of course be added, which would be follow-up customization work. So you have to look at this library as being a start point and, and a template for getting started and then you can add additional um, KPIs or also process adjustments um, on top of this uh, template. But you can see here some of the KPIs that are supported, so for example the backlog development at the slaughterhouse, the timeline of the actual egg shipments uh, from the egg supplier to the hatchery, the amount of slaughter-ready Thompson hens at the farm coops, and uh, the inventory at, uh, at the hatchery, the um, slaughterhouse inventory throughout simulation, and 
the, um, for example, the unhatched egg count at the hatchery. So, and another thing I said, for example, mortality was also included here by the front group process. We can see here, for example, the, um, there's a constant mortality rate in this case. So we have here a linearly increasing total amount of deaths at the um, at the brewery or at, at, at farm groups also. So the downloadable package that I made available um, on my blog would uh, contain uh, these files here. There is a documentation, which is basically um, the, the case study presentation. And then um, there's a conceptual description. And then the various modules um, contained by the library or by this package are um, documented here in HTML files. Um, the KPIs are put as charts here into the results folder. So this is meant to be an, uh, a program or an application that you execute in the Python console. Um, and you're um, supposed to run the, uh, the runpy uh, script. The framework contains the classes for modeling the various processes, so general classes. Um, the model implements the specific use case, and uh, the run for us just an executable, uh, are meant to be the one that you that you call through the Python console. Um, and you could, you could put this, for example, into an API or an interface or whatever is uh, appropriate for your project. The configuration file, um, if we take a look at that, contains um, the various parameters that can be adjusted for this uh, application. So this use case, uh, this case study example um, that is implemented using the framework that is also included by the package um, is defined by, by various uh, parameters which can be adjusted to rerun the simulation and to investigate what the impact is on the supply chain and on the KPIs. Um, and you can see these parameters here. Um, so if we go back to the um, the overview again. So there's the framework which contains classes that can be used in general for modeling also other types of poultry supply chains um, comprising these uh, process steps. And then there is the model script which implements this specific case study that I um, explained with the conceptual model and with the process chart. Um, and this model is also defined by the parameter settings in the configuration file. So this specific case study, you can uh, adjust by adjusting the values in the configuration file, or you can use the model file to implement an, another case study consuming the framework uh, module.